Anybody that would want to stop me from coming from Zion, they never want that person. My name is Sophia Chizabo Okafo, um, Delta State Admin. I'm coming from Asapa, mm. to the city of Okuchara Fancho, Mechara Fancho, Okuchara Fancho, and that is on period. Zion, we move. My name is um, Emmanuel Samuel, and I'm from Imo State. My name is Tessie Chikelu. I hear from any of the states. My name is Anne Anthony Tosh. I'm from Anambra States. My name is Tessie. I'm from Anambra. Oh, it's wonderful. The first day I set my eyes on Zion, um, on Zion. Oh, well, things change. Things change. Something that is not going is moving. Something that is I'm not even expecting. Everything I cannot call it, but my, my heart, I feel so good in Zion. That is where I will worship. That is the truth way. That if you listen, you change your way. Zion has changed my life positively in terms of uh, um okay, in terms of the teaching, yes, you know. After hearing our dad is uh that is Lord teaching, try to live a better life. Apart from that, uh whenever I'm frustrated, whenever I come to the crucifix or I'm mainly going to, to pray. I feel very okay. I feel like, you know, I've dropped all my worries here. So, uh, I can't, well, I can't do without Zion. I can't, I don't know. I can't do without Zion. I think I enjoy the teachings, the deliverance, the praise. Whenever we praise God, the way we praise God, I think I enjoy it. And the prophecy. That's what has kept me. We die here. Singing and preaching is what I love most. Why? Especially singing because... When you are singing, you are pleasing to God. I love singing so much. Zion has trained me to be a very calm person. In fact, personally, I know how I'm married. Sorry, I'm not with my ring. And before now, in fact, I was going through this line of divorcing. That's just the basic story. But with Zion, Zion has made me realize like on that part, it's something that you know, like Daddy always says, the generational seed you're sowing. And that thing alone has, you know, rebuilt my mentality of how I see divorce to be. Because I just feel like before, you're in marriage and if, it does, if it's not working out, you try, it's not working out. Men kick rocks and move on to the next thing. But hearing the divine undiluted truths coming from this and Daddy backing it up with Bible portions and all that made me realize like, Marriage is indeed, is indeed at my uncle. We all need to Whatever thing you see in the baggage is what you get in. So in that aspect, it's really, really impacted in me, in my marriage, impacted in me, in my lifestyle as a whole. My doctor say that I'm a bronchitis. This is called the kind of asthma. It's a kind of uh, fast breathing, and they're not being comfortable whenever um, it rains or maybe everywhere become cold the day i came here and then during those prayers i prayed fastingly and i i realized that uh, when i get home that very day i found that sickness no more so i'm here again because that first one has happened and i believe that another one will also happen i really realized that uh, uh, evangelist ebukobi is a great man with uh, a compassionate heart like look at me right now i'm decently dressed it made me realize like you can be beautiful in your own skin. It's not by revealing and all that that makes you beautiful. In fact, a lot, a lot has changed for me. As you can see, I'm flawless. No makeup, no lashes, no nails. Unlike the Sochi's of Bar Sophie before, it's not even possible. Zion is a little place that you can, can transform your life from bad to good. Zion is a place that you can understand what is word of God. Zion is a little place that you can change your life and make you happy. Zion is a place that can take away your problems, everything. Zion can, is a place that indicates what you cannot even think or thought. Zion, I don't know, but Zion is a real 100% place. Mm. My family chose Zion, that like our generation will still choose Zion. Oh my God. Oh my God. I came for all the seven days. Presence. Oh my God. It's number one. It's top notch. The program was very, very wonderful. Um, the sixth day, I was so ecstatic because what I saw that very day is so impressive. The program was nice. A lot of testimonies. The blessing, the miracles, every single thing about this program is one of its kind. Um, the, one that, the one that was really um, 
intruding was um, the assassin that came to assassinate our daddy in the Lord, the way God exposed them. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was an awesome experience. It's During that seven days um, program here, I also see, I saw and uh, heard about uh, these two women that he helped. So these things are some emulations that uh, he got from, from Jesus Christ when he was here on earth. So I think it is a, it is a, mo a motivational character that someone needs to follow up. Personally, to come know and see in person. Like, ah, the program was one, one in a million. I really enjoyed the program. It's wonderful. I cannot even say or oh, what's in my heart. I'm feeling 100%. That seven days changed a lot of things in my life. I couldn't expect. I enjoyed the preaching. The preaching got me so emotional. I enjoyed the miracles. You see, you watch the prophecy with the instant. In fact, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. My life is on transformation for just the seven days in his presence. I could remember that word, altar, when he made the description of all about altar. So I also went back. I traveled through memory lane in my family. And I remember that, yes, if one need to, keep his altar working or active. The person needs to keep the principle as well because the principle that is getting altar will make the altar to be active. So that is what I actually learned from the art. There was a lot of uh, prophecy with this solution. There was miracles. A whole lot, man. A whole lot. Especially a woman that um, lost her, that, was, that her menstrual period since for eight years. God visited her. There was instant healing. So many, so many. I, I, can, lo I can lose count. The healing, I think the healing part, a lot of people got their healing, the testimonies. Actually, that guy that was mad that received this healing and all that, it was amazing. I, I love his teachings. We all know that our daddy is always saying the truth. What my daddy is saying is what is happening in the whole world. And I believe the people who hear the teaching will change their life because there are many people that cannot teach the way our daddy is teaching. I choose my prophet, Ebukai Ovi. He's a wonderful person. God really used him to deliver us from our bondage. That is why everybody is here. What really got me is the day fought. That's the, the day that he was talking about motherhood. Oh my God, that made me realize like I have a lot to do. I have a lot that I have not even been doing. It gives me this soft spirit in me for me to be open more to my mom, especially, you know, that preaching got me so, so deep. I saw myself tearing up like I've never done before because I'm a kind of a person like I, I hardly forgive. And these seven years in this presence just open up another way because that is said, if you don't forgive, you're, you're practically tying yourself on a bondage. And that was a beautiful teaching for me. I found myself calling my mom. I found myself calling those people that I have held bent, like I'm not going to like talk to them. And now I feel so... F more frequently, oh, because I really enjoyed it. I just hope and I pray that daddy should just keep this like two times in a year or three times in a year. Daddy, please, if you can do it, I will be so grateful. So I was even expecting that it will it will last more long so I can be able to enjoy more of it. The teaching was so invigorating, so informative. In fact, um, I, I can say that after everything, I have a new heart. God has renewed my heart and my spirit. It was a spirit-filled experience. After the program, I decided to travel, but I said no, I will stay more because I love the teaching. That is why I stay. I was supposed to travel yesterday, but I said let me complete this week. Then after this week, I will go back. It's been a while we've had video, or like before we used to have video back to back, back to back. So I don't know if it's possible we can do it at least once in a month, once in a month. This, this it, it was it was a shocker canceling the program canceling the night the um, night of open heaven it's like waiting for eternity and ham um, and daddy please that was that was in fact that was so painful because every day we just want to be here so i didn't hear the announcement for me coming from work because i'm a nurse so i had a night duty so coming over i heard people saying there was no um um program so, um, to be honest, I was so disappointed. I was very, very disappointed. I, I do find it offensive. The man needs to rest now. He's trying. It's not easy. 
it's not easy at all. He really needs to rest. If it's possible, say two weeks, no program. So it's it's not easy at all. He's really trying. I feel so annoyed, but I feel so pity because one person can work all the whole week. It's not easy. In his presence with daddy in Zion, you feel like in fact you feel like not even going back. If I have my race, I feel like bringing my load, not just staying in Lagos, but staying here. It wasn't good actually because I have already introduced so many of my friends and then telling them that uh, they should join online because this wonderful prophecy is really touching. It goes into house to house, delivering people, liberating families. So when I heard about that, I wasn't okay, but... Uh, even though I felt bad, but I think there is a need for them to rest because it, it was very, very vigorous exercise. <laughs>